the hospital, um, we have the 501A financials, the income statement and balance sheet. On the income statement for 501A, there's, there's, a, there's a little bit of a, uh, you know, it's not bad anyway, but there's a little bit of a of good news. Uh, Dr. Vossi, whenever he started, when he started practicing, we see Medicare patients, but we can't bill for those patients until he gets his Medicare number. But once he gets his number, we can go back and we can pick up all of the, the charges from the time that he he started practicing. And that, that income is not accrued in here. So uh, so there's, you know, once once he once he gets his Medicare number and we go back and bill, you'll see a month that has a has a has a pretty significant uh, jump in. You may be asking how much that's gonna be and I, I don't know that for that. So we aren't actually showing the revenue for what he's doing now. That's, That's going to show up in a couple months. For Medicare, yes. Sure will. At least we assume it will be fairly soon. Well, we think it will be this month because it's, you know, we're waiting on, you know, it's been long enough, we're waiting on the Medicare number right now. Expect to be that. Yeah, it is. How's the government? And get on the expense side and, you know, you know, very favorable numbers, you know, on the uh, on the expense side of it. 